Welcome sa sip9.com. This video, tutuloy natin yung ating series about parallelograms. No? And uh, yung ating proof dito sa video na to is that uh, diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. No? So dito, kung makikita nyo sa screen, uh, sa inyong monitor ay uh, meron tayong uh, given na uh, MNOP, which is a parallelogram. No? And we have MO and PN as its diagonals. No? And here, MO and PN bisect each other. Yan yung ating ipoprove. Now, alam ibig sabihin ng bisect? Bisect means hinahati niya into two equal parts. So, pag ang MN ay bisector siya ng PN, if we have this point of intersection as X, for example, ibig sabihin, kung binabisect ng MN or ng MO ang PN, ibig sabihin, hinahati niya yung yung segment na yan into two equal parts which means that we have to show that Px is congruent to Xn. Also, pag ito naman yung bisector ng MO, we also have to show that Mx is congruent to Xo. No? So, yung dalawang yun, bali, ang kailangan nating i-show is that Mn or Mx is congruent to Xo. Kailangan natin ipakita yan sa proof natin. At also, Px is congruent to Xn. So, pag naipakita natin itong dalawang yan, ibig sabihin, na-prove na natin that uh, the uh, MO and PN bisect each other. So, pag nagpo-prove tayo, usually gamit natin yung two-column proof. Meron tayong statements at meron tayong reasons, no? So, sa bawat statements natin, dapat meron tayo palaging kasamang reason. So, here, ang una nating alam is that, one, ang uh, MNP no, is congruent to OPN. Now, anong reason natin dyan, no? That why is this uh, angle congruent to this angle? Well, yan ay alternate interior angle. Uh, these are alternate interior angles of two parallel uh, line segments. No? At kung maalala ninyo, sa parallel postulate ni Euclid, sabi niya, pag meron tayong parallel lines, meron tayong dalawang parallel lines, at meron tayong transversal, PN axis at transversal, ang kanilang alternate interior angles ay Congruent. I think it's one, it's, it's not really one of the postulates, but I think yan yung isa sa mga consequence ng postulates, no? So, ito, congruent ito kasi alternate interior angle sila. And at the same time, ganun din dito, this is also uh, congruent to this because of the same reason. Kasi, pag ito naman yung transversal natin, magiging alternate interior nga naman ito. So, dalawa yun, no? Number one is that angle M and P angle M and P is congruent to angle o, OPN okay sorry angle M and P is congruent to angle OPN using natin yung symbol ng angle angle OPN also angle N M O Angle N, M, O is congruent to angle P, O, M. P, O, M. At pareho yung reasons, pareho yung reasons niya, no? Uh, alternate interior angles. Or congruent, no? Well, of course, pag sinabi ng alternate interior angles, alternate interior angles of the transversal to two parallel lines. So, yun ang ibig sabihin natin dito. No? Although, hindi na natin masusulat yan ng uh, kompleto. No? Of two, of transversal. O, hindi natin masusulat kasi masyado nang mahaba. Anyway, so next, ano pang alam natin? We also know that opposite ang, uh, opposite, opposite, sides of a parallelogram are congruent. I think na-prove na natin ito in one of the previous videos. So, 
Tignan nyo na lang kung anong videos. Hindi ko na maalala. No? Basta nasa QU series natin. So, this angle is congruent to... Uh, sorry. This side is congruent to this side. Bakit? Opposite angles. Angles ako na angles. It's supposed to be side. M, M, N is congruent to PO. Opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. And we have proven this already. Kung dapat may guhit, wag, wag nyo kalimutan na kung may mga nakakalimutan ako, pag gumamit kayo ng congruent at gumamit kayo ng segment, dapat may par siya. Okay? So, next. So, what do we have here? Merong angle, side angle, angle, side angle. So, sabi sa, ano, sabi sa ASA theorem, <coughs> excuse me, sa ASA congruence theorem, Pag meron ka daw dalawang triangles at yung dalawang pairs of angles sila ay congruent and at the same time, yung the side between them or the segment and the side between this, these two angles are also congruent, then these two triangles are congruent. So, by ASA congruence theorem, we have triangle uh, M M X N MXN is congruent to triangle OXV. Okay? So, yan ay by ASA. Congruence. Okay? So, anong masasabi natin pag congruent yung dalawang triangles? Alam natin that corresponding parts are also congruent. So, pag nilapat mo yung dalawang triangle na yan, yung uh, pag nilapat mo silang dalawa such that exactong exacto sila na yung fifth, yung mga nagpapatong na sides, yun yung um, corresponding sides, no? At yung corresponding sides, pag, pag congruent yung dalawang triangle, syempre congruent din, di ba? So, alin dito ang mga congruent sides? Uh, corresponding sides. Alam na natin that this is a uh, corresponding side of this one, di ba? So, Ano ang corresponding side nito? Ng MX. Mer meron siyang blue na angle. Tapos kasama siya dun sa, connected siya dun sa may pink na side. So hanapin natin yung may blue na angle dito at may pink na side. And this is it, di ba? So MX and XOR, corresponding sides. Therefore, they are congruent. MX congruent to XO or OX. What else? Ano corresponding side ng PX? PX is congruent to NX. May pula tsaka ang katabi niya yung uh, pink na side. So, and X then. Okay? Okay? So, anong anong ibig sabihin nito? Ibig sabihin nito ay actually, this is already the proof of the theorem. The corresponding corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Ito yung reasons niya. No? Ay yung reason doon sa mga statements na. This is also statements and reasons. Meron tayo dito niya. Okay? So, na-prove na natin. Bakit? Kasi diba sabi natin kanina, to prove that MO and PN bisect each other, we have to show this. MX is congruent to XO, which is the same as this. XO and OX are the same segment, diba? At the same time, Px is congruent to Xn. Px is congruent to Nx yun nandito. And these are the same segment. Therefore, we have proven that Mo and Pn bisect each other. 
So, pag congruent yung dalawang yan, ano ba napakita natin? Mx is congruent to Ox. So, this one is congruent to this one. And Px from here to here is congruent to this one. So, pag congruent yan, ito, ibig sabihin, bisector siya, di ba? At the same time, pag congruent to, bisector ito. So, they bisect each other. Okay, so maraming salamat. I hope meron kayo natutunan dito sa ating video na to. Uh, uh, here, we have shown that uh, uh, diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Maraming salamat and uh, see you in the next tutorial.